The AIM-54 Phoenix is an American radar-guided, long-range air-to-air missile, carried in clusters of up to six missiles on the Grumman F-14 Tomcat, its only operational launch platform. The Phoenix was the United States' only long-range air-to-air missile. The combination of Phoenix missile and the N-AWG-9 guidance radar was the first aerial weapon system that could simultaneously engage multiple targets. Due to its active radar tracking, the brevity code FOX-3 was used when firing the AIM-54. Both the missile and the aircraft were used by Iran and the United States Navy. In U.S. service both are now retired, the AIM-54 Phoenix in 2004 and the F-14 in 2006. They were replaced by the shorter-range AIM-120 MROM, employed on the F-A-18 Hornet and F-A-18E-F Super Hornet, in its AIM-120D version. The latest version of the MROM just matches the Phoenix's maximum range. The AIM-54 is credited with 62 air-to-air kills, all scored by Iran during the eight-year Iran-Iraq war. Following the retirement of the F-14 by the U.S. Navy, the weapon's only current operator is the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force. Since 1951, the Navy faced the initial threat from the Tupolev Tu-4 cable carrying anti-ship missiles or nuclear bombs. Eventually, during the height of the Cold War, the threat would have expanded into regimental size raids of 216 Badger and 222M backfire bombers equipped with low flying, long range, high speed, nuclear armed cruise missiles, and considerable electronic countermeasures of various types. This combination was considered capable of saturating fleet defenses and threatening carrier groups. The Navy would require a long range, long endurance interceptor aircraft to defend carrier battle groups against this threat. The proposed F-6D missileer was intended to fulfill this mission and oppose the attack as far as possible from the fleet it was defending. The weapon needed for interceptor aircraft, the Bendix Am N-10 Eagle, was to be an air-to-air missile of unprecedented range when compared to contemporary AIM-7 Sparrow missiles. It would work together with Westinghouse and slash APQ-81 radar. The missileer project was cancelled in December 1960. An AIM-54A launched from the NA-3A testbed in 1966 in the early 1960s, the U.S. Navy made the next interceptor attempt with the F-111B, and they needed a new missile design. At the same time, the USAF cancelled the projects for their land-based high-speed interceptor aircraft, the North American XF-108 Rapier and the Lockheed YF-12, and left the capable AIM-47 Falcon missile at a quite advanced stage of development, but with no effective launch platform. The AIM-54 Phoenix, developed for the F-111B Fleet Air Defense Fighter, had an airframe with four cruciform fins that was a scaled-up version of the AIM-47. One characteristic of the missileer ancestry was that the radar sent it mid-course corrections, which allowed the fire control system to loft the missile up over the target into thinner air where it had better range. The F-111B was cancelled in 1968. Its weapon system, the AIM-54 working with the AWG-9 radar, migrated to the new U.S. Navy fighter project, the VFX, which would later become the F-14 Tomcat. In 1977, development of a significantly improved Phoenix version, the AIM-54C, was developed to better counter projected threats from tactical anti-naval aircraft and cruise missiles, and its final upgrade included a reprogrammable memory capability to keep pace with emerging ECM. The AIM-54 slash AWG-9 combination had multiple track capability and launch, the large 1.000 pound missile is equipped with a conventional warhead. On the F-14, four missiles can be carried under the fuselage tunnel attached to special aerodynamic pallets, plus two under-glove stations. A full load of six Phoenix missiles and the unique launch rails weighs in at over 8,000 pounds, about twice the weight of sparrows, putting it above the allowable bring-back load. As such, Carrying six Phoenix missiles would necessitate the jettison of at least some of the Phoenix missiles if they were not used. The most common air superiority payload was a mix of two Phoenix, four Sparrow, and two Sidewinder missiles. Most other U.S. aircraft relied on the smaller, semi-active medium-range AIM-7 Sparrow. Semi-active guidance meant the aircraft no longer had a search capability while supporting the launched Sparrow, reducing situational awareness. The Tomcat's radar could track up to 24 targets in track while scan mode, with the AWG-9 selecting up to 6 potential targets for the missiles. The pilot or radar intercept officer could then launch the Phoenix missiles once parameters were met. The large tactical information display in the Rio's cockpit gave information to the aircrew, the pilot had the ability to monitor. The Rio's display, 
and the radar could continually search and track multiple targets after Phoenix missiles were launched. Thereby maintaining situational awareness of the battle space. The Link 4 Datalink allowed U.S. Navy Tomcats to share information with the E-2C Hawkeye AO aircraft. During Desert Shield in 1990, the Link 4A was introduced, this allowed the Tomcats to have a fighter-to-fighter Datalink capability, further enhancing overall situational awareness. The F-14D entered service with JIDs that brought the even better Link 16 Datalink picture to the cockpit. AIM-54 Phoenix seconds after launch the Phoenix has several guidance modes and achieves its longest range by using mid-course updates from the F-14A-BAWG-9 radar as it climbs to cruise between 80.000 and 100,000 feet at close to Mach 5. The Phoenix uses this high altitude to maximize its range by reducing atmospheric drag. At around 11 miles from the target, the missile activates its own radar to provide terminal guidance. Minimum engagement range for the Phoenix is around 2 nautical miles, at this range active homing would initiate upon launch. An AIM-54 hitting a QF-4B target drone, 1983. An AIM-54 Phoenix being attached to an F-14 wing pylon before the forward fins were installed. The AIM-54 Phoenix was retired from USN service on September 30, 2004. F-14 Tomcats were retired on September 22, 2006. They were replaced by shorter-range AIM-120M ROMs, employed on the FA-18E-F Super Hornet. Despite the much-vaunted capabilities, the Phoenix was rarely used in combat, with only two confirmed launches and no confirmed targets destroyed in U.S. Navy service. The USAF F-15 Eagle had responsibility for overland combat air patrol duties in Operation Desert Storm in 1991, primarily because of the onboard F-15 IFF capabilities. The Tomcat did not have the requisite IFF capability mandated by the JVAC to satisfy the rules of engagement to utilize the Phoenix capability at beyond visual range. The AIM-54 was not adopted by any foreign nation besides Iran, or any other U.S. armed service, and was not used on any aircraft other than the F-14. Iranian F-14 Tomcats armed with multiple missiles, including AIM-54 Phoenix, 1986. On January 7, 1974 as part of Project Persian King, the Imperial Iranian Air Force placed an order for 424 AIM-54As, later increasing it by 290 missiles that June. Of the initial order, 274 missiles and 10 training rounds were delivered for 150 million US dollars, until the 1979 revolution ended deliveries and left the remaining 150 missiles embargoed and the additional order of 290 cancelled. According to Tom Cooper and Farzad Bishop, during the Iran-Iraq War AIM-54s fired by Iriov Tomcats achieved 78 victories against Iraqi MiG-21-23-25S, 222s, Su-20-22 and Su-25 Tomcats achieved 1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1981-1
and captive air training versions of the missile, designated ATM-54, IM-54, Baton 54A, and Captain 54. The flight versions had A and C versions. The DAT-54 was not made in a C version as there was no change in the ground handling characteristics. Map with AIM-54 Phoenix operators in blue with former operators in red A technical drawing of AIM-54 See the following is a list of AIM-54 Phoenix specifications, related lists. Thanks for watching.